The parents of the 96 people who lost their lives 20 years ago at the Hillsborough tragedy have been given freedom to the city. The Lord Mayor suggested the civic honour, and here we talked to Councillor Steve Rotherham and Trevor Hicks from the Hillsborough Family Support Group. So, Lord Mayor, I wondered if you could just tell us really what, uh, obviously, everybody's been anticipating the 20th anniversary of Hillsborough. Was there um, any particular reason other than the anniversary for this commemoration? Or, you know, what, what is it there to reflect and, uh, and celebrate? Well, I think the, the 20th anniversary was a spark, really, for focus on people's minds on what we as a city could do to commemorate the Hillsborough tragedy. And I approach the leaders of both political parties and the chief executive and I've put a number of suggestions to them and one of them was that we would have a freedom of the city of Liverpool. It's called freedom of the role of association for the Hillsborough families, for the 96 families. And uh, they all readily agreed to this request. And so we had to then talk to the, the families who were gaining support of and that's the reason that the 20th anniversary is an appropriate juncture in which to recognise the work and the contribution that their families have made to Liverpool. And what could you just give us uh, your initial impressions when you were told that the families of the 96 were going to be honoured in such a way by the city? Well, obviously we met the mayor and this is when we first heard of the proposal and I think uh, delighted. Um, obviously we've been very well supported by the city council um, but this is a formal recognition, not only of the 96, but of all the work that the families, their survivors, their friends, you know, their loved ones have had to put in uh, in the 20 years. You know, people forget that, you know, we are living victims, if I could use that phrase. We still have to get up every morning. We still have to remember what went on that awful day. Lots of other people get on with their lives. Um, so yes, coming back to the point, we think it's a fitting tribute, uh, we think the families will be extremely uh, appreciative of it, and as somebody said, it will be recognition for eternity of what happened at Hillsborough on the 15th of April. Would you say over the last 20 years has been the, the biggest challenge that the campaign has, has faced? Oh, I think it's one word, justice. Uh, we had the justice concert to fund the legal cases. Uh, we've met every shade of politician that you have. And I think I'm speaking on behalf of most of the families. We still do not see Hillsborough as finished business. We still don't think there's been justice. There's been justice of a sort. We had a court case and effectively people got off. Um, they shouldn't have done, but that's, you know, justice. There's loads of uh, examples of miscarriage of justice and we actually think Hillsborough is one of them. But what would you say has been the biggest achievement of the campaign over that time? I, I think uh, we've raised football to a new level. We've also shown that a campaigning group can do things properly and can get recognition, if you like, even if you can't get the justice, that you have a just cause. I think we probably have more supporters than the people who technically think they've won. And again, a, a statistic I've heard that the average time to sort out a miscarriage of justice is about 26 years. So on that basis, we have about six years before someone finally blows the whistle and coughs the real truth of Hillsborough.